So, back here at the Red Bills hideout with the Nell Stone in hand. What are we gonna do with Radlia? Well, I guess. Except the part you almost drowned, but. So what's our plan now? Well, he's a cat. He doesn't really have thumbs. Maybe he doesn't know how to flip the on switch on and keep it on all the way. Yeah, you tell him. What is what did he do against the void scent? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he did. So what do we do next? We got the Null Stone. A bunch of the Talons are dead. Their leader almost freaking died and she kind of owes us one right now. Okay. We'll do. Not like we got anything better to do in the meantime. So, are we just gonna chill here in your room for a little while, Leo? I could use rest. I could also use a nice hot meal. So I believe the thank you is in order. Yeah, they crashed and got turned into zombies and, and stuff. It was not a pretty sight. Not a pretty sight at all. a good question. Gee, I wonder if it was made by your master. No? No? Okay. Well, do you still have this book? Maybe, may have Kit Kat can read it. Oh, well, there you go. Well, thank you. Okay, you would you would think the vo the void sent around it would would kind of give you a clue that it's a bit too fucking dangerous for that kind of stuff.
All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Calm down. Well, what little of the talons is left. Come on, you owe us one. We didn't have to drag your ass out of there alive. You're gonna sit this one out? Okay, fine. You're welcome for saving your ass! I think he's getting to that. Kinda hard to turn the pages and pick this things up when you don't have any thumbs. We're coming after you! Are you guys scared? I think you should be. Alright, Stacia, did you guys have to kick me out? Like, really? I haven't even left. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Patch separations, tears, all that good crap. It gets really annoying when, you, when you're trying to do this as like a single continuity and you'll you leave like this and like, Oh, I was just looking for you, even though you were just in the room. So we'll pretend we went and got lunch or something. Oh! Okay. Well, if it's got info about Kit Kat himself in there, uh, might it have been written by his former master? Darkest look. Okay.
I, I can tell you're being a little impatient right now because you're not leaning back with your feet on the desk. Why is your hitbox so huge? Wait, what? Yeah. Well, if it's any consolation, they're all dead now. Well, I would think, because we haven't seen the Shadow Queen yet, so it, it, it is the final tier of this arc, so yeah. Oh, so you learned to master it! Hooray! So we're a team, right? Why is this place shaking? It's up in the sky. It's not like it's an earthquake or something. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm carrying the null stone. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he didn't just leave it on the table, but... Dude, are you okay? What the hell is going on here? Well, at least it didn't break your goggles. Really? That just happened? Okay, I call plot BS on that. I mean, not that Kit Kat is, uh, really all that powerful and all, but yeah, yeah. That seriously just happened and nobody noticed a damn thing. That's really kind of shitty. Well, that's not uh, quite the setback for us. Can I have my QB stick back, please? I'm gonna chuck some rocks in your face. Hey, what? What just happened? Oh, hey! 
came to your senses? Can we shoot him some more? Throw some rocks at him? Something? Anything? Just gonna let him get away? Okay. Alright, fine. Loves his sticking boy tent. What is that smug grin of yours for? You still owe me a thank you. Well, us. Well, she said most of the ones that left were sh kind of shitty ones. No, let me talk to Stacia. No, there we go. Now, well, I'm a medic. No, I want at least a thank you. Okay? Say it out loud. Eat some crow. Say it out loud. Then we can call it even. Alright, can we not have a dick measuring contest right now? Well, he was about to say something that the book told them until we were so rudely interrupted by this encounter. No, we kind of want you to not die. So now we have our final duty thing. Yeah, we can just ignore that. Well, the last time we left you alone, the talons kind of captured you. Maybe it's best you do stay here. I think we're doing the right thing. Help me with us in spirit. Hey, 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 we give us your scarf or your goggles. That way you can come with us in spirit. Eh, eh, no? Okay, fine.
Yeah, they, they, they pretty much just stole that ship that's, that's been abandoned in the Sea of Clouds since, like, ever. That they couldn't get it working and Sid was supposed to fix it or some shit and never actually got around to it or some crap or the thing was a piece of junk from the beginning or something. I don't even remember. But yeah, it's good to see the, the, the abandoned ship actually ended up with the purpose here. So let's take our stolen airship to the ruins. These guardians weren't doing a damn thing with that ship anyway, so... I'm, I'm not even mad this thing got even stolen in the first place. Not the slightest. It's a pretty nice looking deck though. Did they have to make it dick shaped though? For serious. No, 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 I'm not even there yet. I'm not even there yet, and your filthy stinking void set can't even leave me alone. <sighs> well, there goes any elevator surprise, because, well, now they know we're coming. That kind of sucks. But we've handled Mega Void Scent before. I'm sure we got this one. Would be nice if we had our, our QB stick. That is the Null Stone, but unfortunately, we do not. But that hasn't stopped us before. I'll find a way out of this somehow. Somehow. So I'm actually pretty fond of this place. Simply by virtue of... Well... I hate to sound like an asshole player, but you can tell who's good and who sucks. Or at least who's decent and who absolutely sucks. Because it'll always be like the same people who can't follow simple mechanics. And screwing up over and over and over again. And thank you for that raise, because I have no swiftcast. Well, there it is. Well, that was an abrupt landing, but we made it.
Hooray! So, forgiveness for the fast forwarding there, because there's, there's really not much I have to say about that fight. Hi, Kit Kat. You know, for a place that is supposedly, well, ruins, um, it's not really actually ruined. I mean, yeah, the floors are a little scuffed and dusty, but they've held up pretty well. I think like the changes in the weather and the humidity and stuff over 1500 years would leave like cracks in the floor or anything. Or some kind of potholes or anything, but nope, nothing. I have to say, people in this game are very good, well in this universe anyway, about uh, pretty damn sturdy architecture. So credit where credit is due, I suppose. Yep, I haven't had enough of Void Scent. Alright, now we gotta stop them from summoning even more. Ugh. Oh, nothing I haven't handled before. Mission successful! Hooray! You know, these eyeball lamps or, or no? Like, I can't really tell if that's what they're supposed to represent. Alright, who left the lights on in there? No, seriously. Seriously. There's lights on in there. What the hell? Okay, I got no explanation for that whatsoever. Oh, great. As if I needed to see more dragons coming out of the void. You know, I've had, I've quite had my fill of dragons. Thank you very much, sirs and madams. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to go to the sides, climb up the stairs, and I ended up going through the wall. Only have to turn back. Diving board! Whee! It's a simple things, guys. Oh, hi, guy. I nearly blasted to death last time. Are we overcompensating with the size of your little staff there? Maybe? Perhaps? You know, you're lucky Kit Kat didn't know how to fully manifest the power of my cubie stick. Otherwise, you would be obliterated right now. Unfortunately for you, I'm able to be able to do something that will fix that. Hey guys, all the tanks pull, please. For serious. I'm just gonna stand here until a tank gets this crap under control. Okay, thanks. All right, there we go. So this wormhole mechanic actually took me a fair bit of time to actually figure out. But when I finally did, I was very happy. So I purposely did not like look it up. I'm like, no, I'm gonna figure this out so I'm not just shadowing people and I know what to do entirely on my own. And eventually I did, so hooray, accomplishment for me. For some reason I'm having trouble like seeing today, but we got this, we got this. So this is the, my one disappointment about this fight, because I very much otherwise like it. Is these stupid puddles on the floor will, will change the elemental balance when somebody walks over them. Well, there's 24 people in here. And there is a delay in the server. So, on your end, you're ahead of everybody, but actually that's not what's really happening on the server's end. So, basically you all end up walking back and forth over the same damn thing multiple times and swapping it back and forth a million times. 
all while being unaware that somebody probably got it before you, but you can't tell on your end, and it gets very annoying. And then you have the issue of every once in a while, yeah, everybody will back off thinking that somebody will get it, and then nobody gets it because you're all assuming that everyone else is going to take care of it, and it can kind of get very annoying and very frustrating. I really wish it would have been you stand in it and you stay in it to get it to swap colors. But nope. I mean, I'll give them credit for trying a little bit something new, but it doesn't stop it from being mildly frustrating. Thankfully, I haven't yet run into a situation where the Alliance has been killed from that move unless by absolute just just sheer neglect of not even not even trying to change the, the balance at all but that hasn't been a common occurrence not sure where the uh, the actual threshold of when it's survivable and when it is not exists but that's neither here nor there so yeah ugly little imp things you're annoying me Like, you're trying to be cheeky and sing-songy and trying to taunt us, but yeah, I'm not having any of that garbage right now. Sorry. I have bigger void scent on my mind. Just maybe. Just maybe. You know, you hiding and then laughing maniacally after it really doesn't help when it's taking you all but two seconds to reappear and reappearing in the same slot. Alright, are you going to stay dead now, or do I have to blast you with my kiwi stick once I get it back? Have you learned your lesson not to screw with me yet? I'm the warrior of light. I face four bigger and better than you. Oh my god, these flowers have uh, blinking eyeballs in them! Ew! That is creepy! Uh, okay, I don't like the looks of this glowy. Not, not one tiny little bit. So here we have a fight that was kind of, well, shoehorned into here. Because originally this was just a trash pull with a succubus and more void scent crap. But they decided to incorporate a fun little battle that they had exclusive to FanFest and just shove it right into the game. Now, if they had planned to shove it in the game from the start, I, I honestly don't know. Because it didn't happen until a few weeks into this tier starting. But nonetheless, I don't really have any major complaints about it. Mainly because it's been a while since we've seen Ultima, and it was really the only fight that didn't really get a uh, trial that didn't get its own expert. At least, like, a major one. Like, I know, like, stuff like Steps of Faith. Well, technically, you can't final Steps of Faith, I guess, but you got its own extreme version, but... At the same time, it's been a very, very, very long time since we faced Ultima, and even the the original hard mode is a, is a joke nowadays, so... It's good to see a slightly different version returning. It is kind of shoehorned in here, but the trash pull that was here was nothing special anyway, so... Run away, run away, run away, run away! kind of have crappy HP, so I gotta be careful in here, because this guy does a lot of damage. No, you just landed on my face, you jackass! 
gonna hurt. Oh god, the lag. Okay, there we go. I didn't mean to get hit by one of those, but I actually like the, the bits have uh, funny shaped AoEs this time. Instead of just, just simple circles and cleaves and everything, they, they kind of mix it up a bit and have the safe zones and weird spots. I like that. There's a bit more variety. So they were actually smart and actually started limit breaking these things. Because for every single one you kill, you do entirely get a limit break bar back. So yeah, guys, burn your limit break for this. Because you're just going to get it right back anyway. So there's no point in holding onto it. Just nuke these things. So I don't know what actually happens if Supernova goes off because I've never seen it. So I'm just going to assume it's an automatic alliance wipe. I mean, I've seen some pretty stupid wipes in pretty stupid places throughout my tenure, but that's one I've never actually seen. And, ah, uh, shit, my stuff is starting to break. Dang it. A queen? Already? Okay. That is a mighty colorful throne. Where did you get that thing? I want one of those. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I did not expect the Shadow Queen to look so... Childlike? I guess is the best word I can use here. Okay, okay, it's a, she's a freaking Lolly Queen, okay? I'll just come out and right say it. But I'm actually kind of fascinated by that. Like, most of the Void set we've seen are, are just kind of like, just, just gruesome, like, fearsome looking creatures with horns or, you know, drawn with very jagged edges and things like that. They, monstrous, for, for lack of a better term here. And here you have this somewhat adorable, if kind of creepy at the same time, queen of theirs. So, yeah, I kind of like that. So this is one of them fights where you start screwing up and eventually the whole alliance will pay for it. If you play your cards right, this fight is actually pretty damn easy. You just gotta watch what she does. Cause she's gotta tell for everything. Including that which she just stepped on everybody's face. I kind of like the, the the heart motifs that are they're going on in the background there. Again, it's kind of kind of adorable in a, in a creepy sort of way. Except the fact that she just pulled those out of her. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't get hit by that. A little too close. A little too close. All right, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, she ain't kidding around with these things. I do kind of want her spear weapon, though. Alright, let's see how many people stood and stupid and moved across the floor. Yeah. Now, I find that an interesting mechanic where all you have to do is just not move across the floor. And there's always some people who are unnecessarily moving across the floor there, even though you don't have to move or dodge anything there. And then you will have people continuously walking across the floor. 
even though in addition to a dot effect it applies like a heavy to you as well and it's like even if you don't actually have the time to read what the actual description says as soon as you realize you're moving slower than molasses why the fuck would you even keep moving but people are rather silly i suppose like they're all standing and stuff right now and I very much do not appreciate that. I was worried for a minute that guy was not gonna die. I'm gonna put a bubble for you guys. No, oh, and they freaking just walked out of it. <sighs> Trying to get as much people I can with this, but no. It's standing everything. Yeah, we're doing all right so far. I could be doing a lot worse. Now, hi, Queenie. I know you were in a little coffin for like 1,500 years. Perhaps we we have not met. I am one of Heidelin's chosen. My name is Amos Protagonist. And killing scumbags like you is my day job. I don't get paid any overtime, and the benefits kind of suck, but... I do it nonetheless. It's made me some really awesome friends, though. That's all the benefit I could hope for. people why you move across the floor when you don't need to actually move. So I find this part of the fight very interesting. Because of all the creepy stuff puppet things. They're going around the walls over here. Close the shadow puppets on the wall. Gotta say I like that. Like how they're also drawn with some kind of like childlike charm, as if they were drawn in crayon. I rather like that. Okay, you should not have been taking that. It's like odd combination of both creepy and charming. And it most definitely intrigues me. So, would somebody freaking kill this Chimera, please? He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna drag in the voice you guys' ass. Alright, okay, he died first. Okay, alright, we got this under control now. We good, guys. So, at least her imps aren't like carbon copy miniatures of herself like that or the boss little narcissistic bastard okay everyone get in the bubble no 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 tier three not tier one there we go all right <laughs> yeah i'm gonna divine seal tier ones yep yep that's the greatest idea ever you guys Damn it, I didn't get there in time. Whoops. Of course, now I'm lagging. Of course. Eh, why is everything in here trying to kill me? 
Ugh. You guys are dead once I get my QB stake back. So dead. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're gonna be dead here. Kill him. Okay. Alright. You. Yeah, if he gets set off, that's like a whole alliance wipe. Pretty much. You don't want that. It's kind of shitty. Just a bit. Crap, 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 any crap. Alright, you might want to move out of the way. Trying to keep this from the rest of the Alliance. Thank you. Thank you for having that foresight. Alright. We good. We good now. And make sure I didn't crush anybody. And, by the way, I don't know if they ever patched this or not. I probably should have submitted it as a bug report because it was kind of a dick move. You can have both the Nox Ball and the Tether for the ads on you at the same time. I've had it happen to me. And needless to say, yeah. I don't know how, I, I managed not to initially die, but I did shortly afterwards from lack of heals, because I was on my bard at the time. So had my healers actually gone on me, and I'm not really blaming them because there was other stuff going on at the same time, I probably would have survived it, but yeah, it's kind of a dick move. Yes, let's totally have a mechanic where you have to face your ad, otherwise he runs toward you and kills you. And another mechanic where you literally have to run away from something or it starts to kill you and the rest of the alliance. And let's put it on the same damn person at the same time. Brilliant idea! Are you taunting me? Are you, sir? Cause I ain't in the mood for, I ain't in the mood for your garbage right now. So, so we're just gonna leave her corpse j just sitting on the ground. I guess. All right, fine. I have to say, I like the pattern on the floor here. A lovely little mosaic. So here we are with the rematch. Again. I would like my QB stick back if you would please. Kit Kat is not very happy that you took it from him. And I assure you, I will grant you a swift death. Well, Kit Kat will. Once it has been returned to us. I already want to make it slow and painful and humiliating like we are doing now. Good choice, man. Omen? Oh no, we don't have any doors to escape into. Well, too bad we haven't had to do that mechanic since like eight patches ago. So we're just gonna sit here and take it like a boss. And it doesn't even give us a stack of anything terrible. 
You call yourself a master. I'll master this motherfucker. Chicken! Chicken! Uh oh, you want to play knock knock jokes now? Okay. All right, we can do that. So yes, I find it quite hilarious that we are literally beating the shit out of a door. Now, I, I think what it, what is kind of supposed to be happening here... Well, it is obviously a battle of, of wits and aether and all. But... What I believe is happening, and somebody correct me if I'm kind of wrong here, that... Basically, you're feeding your own Aether into the door to counteract the zone and kind of just feeding your energy into it. And apparently people have failed this before, but I really don't know how because there's no reason that everybody shouldn't be DPSing here. There's nothing going on! I love how his Aether amount is actually going up and down. I've never actually paid attention to that gauge before. Ever. I assume you automatically die once it reaches 100, but... I love how it just keeps resetting to zero and... So, we done yet? Can I have my QB stick back now? I promise I will make it quick. Hey, 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 that's mine. That's mine. D did you just eat her? Or there's something? What the shit? And I totally just healed the entire party in cleric stance there. Whoops. Thank you, other healer, for picking up my slack right there. So, yeah, he he essentially did the Void Scent equivalent of eating her. You goddamn glutton. Well, if power is what you seek, then you shall feel the power of my rocks hitting you in the goddamn face. I am the warrior of light. You cannot best me. I have defeated scum like you before, and I'll defeat plenty more scum like yourself afterward. And I'll do all of it without even so much as a lunch break. Guys, don't bring that through the party. I'm trying to actually follow mechanics here. Well, thankfully I have Shroud up, so this is that. So what I find interesting here, and it was a mechanic I actually didn't know for a long time, 
that the center gate here actually leads to an alternate dimension, and it's pretty much just an add and a minor DPS check in there. Which was pretty cool. I don't know what happens if you fail, though. I've never actually seen that happen. I'm not getting in there right now. But we need to take care of this Nighthound. So yeah, don't get hit by Hollow Nightmare, please, because it actually, instead of just causes sleep, it now causes doom. Thankfully, though, it is cleansable because there is no way to actually, no, no portals on the ground or anything to cleanse yourself with. Nothing. Alright, now please don't run that through the middle again, guys. So this is where the fight can start to get a little bit hairy. You do not want to detonate those orbs. Leave them be. They just knock you back and just fuck with you over and over and over again, and it just ends up becoming a bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, come on, I was not even in that. gonna live a break three. Alright, second time's a charm, you guys. Let's see if we can get this taken care of. Okay, guys, don't stand in the past of the orb, please. Thank you. Okay, I did not think I was in that, but that's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Everybody get in my bubble! A little premature there. There we go. That should not have fucking killed me! God damn it. Oh well. Oh well. Not very upset. It's my crappy HP. Okay, don't spam your stuff, okay? So I'm gonna stand here and eat that. Okay. So this is actually the easiest part of the fight, even though most people make it difficult. We'll, we'll make it through. Because after a certain point, uh, he gives himself the buff double edge, and eventually though his attack powers increase, he will eventually kill himself. Like, you, li it is literally at this point a game of survival. And he will just eventually die on his own. It's all about do the mechanics, don't worry about DPSing. If you can, you can. That's great, that's fine. But don't, don't worry about it. He'll eventually kill himself. <laughs> Which is kind of fucking stupid, but... <laughs> Well, if that's the way he wants it, then that's the way he's gonna get it. Can I have my QB stick now, please? I'm about to obliterate your ass. I need to clean up my inventory. Uh, what can I get rid of? Uh -oh, I'll use these for one. Okay. Alright. These pants better? Yes, they are. I'm taking those. Alright. I'll put those on later. No time for that now.
quick Kit Kat. Get in there. Run. Take it. Where are you? There you are. Alright, I got you. I got your back this time. For reals. Oh, hi guys. Uh, uh, can, can we take the void blasty stick off the ground, please? I'm glad somebody is smart. Go over there and get the stick! Well, that must have hurt. Guys, like, really? Really? We're gonna play this game all over again. Oh, shit! Oh, now you gonna die, fucker. Oh, are you gonna run away like a coward again? didn't really think he was going to listen to you and stay behind, did you? Yes, thank you. Run. Take that thing. Okay, can you stop torching my friends, please? You're only gonna meet your doom faster. Come on, Kit Kat. You can do it. You can do it. Harness that power. Turn him into dust. We do it. Oh, your goggles broke. But of course. Thank you, friend. Alright, can, can we check to make sure he doesn't have any internal bleeding? Like, he had like a broken, possibly arm and ribs and stuff. Yeah. I think it's wise we get him a medic and fast. Or like an actual doctor.
I would consider that a good thing, though. But did we get any treasure out of this? That's the real important question. That's how all this crap started in the first place. Although, I suppose our QB stick is probably going to sell for a fair share on the open market. What do you think, guys? But <laughs> okay, apparently I gotta clean out my inventory again. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, alright. Alright, crisis averted. I know, I know my inventory is a mess right now, but I'm really not caring. Okay, nobody has anything new different. Alright, so can we end this at last? Whatever are we gonna do? Uh, your hand is clipping through your shoulder. I don't think that is good. Okay, Cat, what are you gonna do now? You fulfilled your master's desires. What's gonna happen to you now? No, your heart was in the right place. to get you a new cape. A poor thing is completely burned up. Kind of poopy. That thing made you look absolutely adorable. You doing all right, Kit Kat? Well, he's probably in terrible pain. Several broken bones and all that. Oh, he's adopted. Oh, he keeps a picture of his mom in his chamber. That is so adorably sweet. Okay, take those goggles off until you can get a new pair. You just look utterly ridiculous right now. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit better.
what, 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 can we have hugs, handshake, pets, something, anything? Yeah, you do look a bit scruffy, but I'm sure we could all you do with a shower anyway, so... Nah, I'm not gonna place any blame. Well, and hold it against you, man. So Kid Cat gets a fancy widow scarf. Doesn't he look adorable? I think it fits him just nicely. Okay, alright. Utata? Alright. No more hugging Kit Kat without prior consent. Okay. Okay. No squeezing his guts out. You take care of Leo, okay? Alright. You promise me, Kit Kat? Stacia, well... I kind of liked you, but I don't really have anything to say about you. So, good luck. Stay out of trouble. Keep everything together. You seem to be like you might be the voice of reason around here. Now, Leo, I'm sorry we didn't get any treasure out of this adventure. But you gained a new friend. I'm sure that's the greatest treasure of them all. I know that sounds incredibly cheesy, but... I am a Final Fantasy character, so... Yeah. Well, if you're gonna make me a crony, then I demand a scarf too. Yes, I do get a scarf. All right. We'll just pretend he slipped it into my pocket when I wasn't looking. So yes, my friends, that is the end of the the the, the Shadow of Mock story or whatever the hell you want to call it. Ah, it was okay. I can't really say how much it compares to Crystal Tower. I, I do like that in the end, everyone makes it out okay. Crystal Tower had, had kind of a, a somber ending with Mr. Alagon ancestry in his eye, Catboy, sealing himself inside the tower. And we're probably never ever going to see him again. But at least now, everybody came out okay with this one, and they desire life of freedom, even if I didn't get any treasure out of it. Well, I don't think anybody got any treasure out of this in the end. <laughs> they they, they kind of just dropped that point. It would have been nice if they talked about, like, oh yeah, Diablos is gone, let's raid those fucking ruins, man, woohoo! I mean, it kind of would have shake up the tone, the, t the tone at the end a little bit, but I still think that would have been hilarious, so it was alright. It was alright. I wish it may maybe dealt a little bit more, delved a little bit more into into the history there. I know there is some already existent in the game with other side stories like the the dungeons, the lost city, and Depor and all those. So I won't really complain too much at the lack here, but it, some of it would have been nice to have some kind of refresher or some kind of journal put aside. Maybe we could actually read some of those still legible entries from from that tome. From which Kit Kat learned to harness the Null Stone's full power. What are we going to do with the Null Stone now anyway? Maybe we'll just lock it in a closet somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. 
So, apologies for mishaps, random cuts, doing 24-man raids, especially ones that people suck at mechanics at. Uh, can be a bit difficult. I had to do several takes of several different parts, so you will please to forgive the butchering and the editing in some parts. Had to salvage what I could. And hopefully I'll see you in the next special! Thanks for joining me, everybody.